Guys, today we are going to talk about delivery, driver safety, and connected vehicle in last mile delivery. I am Pratibha Sharma. We'll start with a quick introduction on myself. Uh, I love hiking. Last year, I did Half Dome in Yosemite and uh, Rim to River in Grand Canyon. Besides that, I do work too. So I had been, I started as a tech lead for companies like Bell Labs and IBM, have four patents with them, got into program management because I wanted to understand the beginning to end of the life cycle. And that led me into product management because building for one partner was not enough. So got into product management and working like one for last 10 years in companies like Toyota, PayPal, and Amazon. Um, today, now we are going to focus on last mile delivery. Let's start with the content we plan to present. We'll start with how a item goes from shopping cart and what uh, to the uh, shopping cart and what is the role of delivery in that. Why delivery is complicated, how delivery gets expensive, how customer behavior impacts delivery, the cost of no tech intervention, in the last mile delivery, what does last mile delivery really delivers to all of us in the ecosystem? The technology can expedite the last mile delivery and how? How can we ensure that our drivers are safe and equipped to best deliver the items to us? The opportunities for intervention, where can I, we find the room for that? The capacity of connected vehicle and devices, how? that can change our last mile delivery. So let's get started. Shopping cart and roll of delivery. When we are shopping online, we put the items on the cart. And when we are making the decision whether to buy it or not, what is the role of delivery there? So data reflects that cart abandonment presents clear opportunity for last mile delivery improvements. Why? 54% of US consumers abandon their cart. Why? Because the delivery was too expensive. 24% of US consumers don't buy an item because the delivery is slow. So clearly there are challenges. High shipping cost, slow delivery speed, and added need of transparency. Why is delivery so complicated after all? because it's not simple. People are expecting full visibility. People need choices in delivery. If you want immediate delivery, if you want same day delivery, next day delivery, delivery hour notifications, returns need to be included as part of the delivery too, which is a complete cycle when it comes to payment, dif completely different cycle when it comes to payment processing, delivery slot selection, rescheduling, return processing, consumer brand integrity, that plays a very important role in the delivery. Delivery slot notifications, rerouting in case of any road incidents, white glove installation, package removal, and customer feedback, and recycling of the old products. These are all expected for, as part of the delivery. That's what delivery really entails. Besides that, what else? makes our last mile delivery expensive. So let's look into that. The fuel consumption, whether our delivery is using a city roads or highway, how is the terrain, how are the roads that all have an impact on our fuel consumption, downtime. Our drivers spent 26 hours in 2020 on the road just sitting. Fail deliveries, 5% of the delivery is fail, gets failed without of, because of the notification gaps, absence, and whatnot. Wrong maps and route. Our courier drivers are expected to deliver, deliver 130 packages in one day. And a wrong route can have a very big impact on their productivity. Return and exchange, 20% of items are getting returned. So no gain to the vendor when they are selling those items. Road incident that slows you down and incidents are not only happening on the road they are happening on the yard as well hazards with completely unpredictable aggressive pets aggressive people not properly lit roadway wet roads 
they all are impacting and having a cost in the last mile delivery. Natural calamity, earthquake, winter storms at that time, more and more people are expecting the item to be delivered at their home and less and less drivers are out there. Traffic conditions, which are completely unpredictable, and vehicle issues like rollover, maintenance, we run out of battery, now we have EV vehicles. So this is all contributing to the cost of delivery and cart abandonment is happening because we our cost of delivery was high. So we do definitely need to do something. How is our customer behavior impacting delivery? What is our customer really expecting? So we have seen, and e-commerce data reflects, that child product, house, supp uh, house supplies, groceries, and food take is increasing. And customers are expecting quick delivery in these spaces and most of the time, same day. Urbanization is increasing. By 2030, 60% people will be living in the cities. And congestion has increased since 2010 by 35% already. Products, more and more products needs to be delivered. Furniture, which are expected to be sold online is 32%. So one third of the overall furniture. 10% grocery will be increased and delivery, same day delivery is increasing up to 40% and instant delivery, especially when it comes to food and whatnot is going to increase by 10%. So overall 78% of growth through 2030 is expected in last mile delivery. We definitely need to take this business very seriously. So no, uh, the cost of no tech intervention in last mile delivery is going to be very high. We need to see it and we need to look very closely in this space. Digital business model enablements, instant and same day delivery. This is going to grow dramatically, 36% and 17% respectively. What does that really mean? Delivery vehicles by 2030 needs to increase by 36%. This will have an emissions and 6% empty will grow by 2030 and congestion on the road will increase by 21%. What does last mile delivery really delivers or what is it expected to deliver? What is a good last mile delivery looks like? Vehicle tracking and route management business adapting to change towards based on the consumer behavior. They need choices. They want flexibility. We need to get personalized. Improvement is must. Consumer business needs to learn how to serve our uh, customers best. Streamlining operations by using IoT and sensor data is one of the very effective way. Alert to optimize delivery routes to our drivers in case of any incident or accidents or any other conditions. We need alerts there. Communication with the customer so that they know what is happening and when. Performance monitoring and constantly looking into the insight of the data and making these features more and more effective. That is the goal of last mile delivery. So again, the just to summarize the highlights, order tracking, vehicle trip management, mobile proof of delivery. Proofs are very important. Vehicle route planning, 24 seven customer support for our drivers, as well as our customer who are receiving the items. Feedback to our drivers and giving them direction as needed. Third party integration. These all play a great role in the last mile delivery and we are building insight, which will get into ML and AI models eventually. Transparency is a very, very, very critical part. I cannot emphasize enough on this. So what is the future of last mile delivery? We need to crowdsource our cour couriers. Self-driving vehicles will increase. Anticipated shipping needs to change. How technology can really expedite the last mile delivery. Mobile computing solutions. We can figure it out how long it will take to deliver an item from one place to another. Barcode scanners, routing using ML. 
routing can be predicted. We have enough data in this space. Order fulfillment and delivery based on the orders and the delivery request, real-time traceability of packages, supply chain operational efficiency. We really need to tighten in this space. Keeping costs down and enable affordability in delivery is must. Again, I don't want to repeat that 54% of the consumer are just not buying or abandoning their cart because the delivery cost was high. So these insights will really help to make sure that we are expediting delivery and we are managing our cost. So now let's focus on our drivers. Our driver is the most important aspect and our primary concern in the last mile delivery. It's vehicle safety. If we own our vehicles, we need to make sure the vehicles are roadworthy and we are providing safe vehicles to our driver. And if we are partnering with somebody, we need to make sure we are, have good partners who are providing us vehicle. Route safety. We need to optimize not only for efficiency of the route, but also for its safety. We need to minimize delay, prolonged idle time, and unnecessarily stops for our drivers. Mobile-based driver profiling program. We need to make sure that our, we are providing the best route for our driver, the right vehicle, and the good route. Uh, crash detection. We should have right devices in our vehicle who can predict the crash before it happens. And if it does happen, we can make sure that there is enough data that we can protect our driver and make sure, even if it's their fault, that we are providing them proper training. So driver coaching is very critical. Where is the room for potential intervention in the last mile delivery? So vehicles are changing constantly. We have EVs. Amazon itself is using Rivian for the last mile delivery. ICE vehicles, autonomous couriers, drones, trucks. These are the different things which we are using as the vehicles are changing. Secure delivery in the parcel box, in your trunk, or a particular location. Consumer move, customer movement. We can reach to the customer. We can make sure that where customers are going, we deliver at those places. Consolidation. Last leg changes. We want to make sure that the last leg where we have more congestion, we make it easy. Be that be by a locker, be that be by a bike or um, by the um, a autonomous vehicles. Delivery environment. Let's make that effective for our customer too. We should provide parking for our drivers. We should give maybe special lanes. So the capacity of connected vehicle and devices can really change and shape our last mile delivery. How? That because the pre increased presence of EV vehicles, the cities are tightening the emission standards, especially with the increased congestion, as well as um, the connected cities. And unattended vehicles will increase in next three to five years, which can make it very cost effective. We want to make sure that delivery is making our consumer's life very convenient and regulatory requirements are always taken into consideration while we are using these autom uh, autonomous vehicles. So the concepts are autonomous vehicles, drones, robotics, those can be used, developing tech, with smart door locks, trunk, uh, trunk delivery, autonomous van, vans, drones at all, and scalable delivery. The role of logistics and technology, this plays an important role too. Uh, so what, what happens in this space is, it improve, as we are improving the transparency, we can enhance order management, optimize delivery speed, reduce delivery attempts, boost productivity, increase profits, and delight our customers. How do we plan to do that? By using AI technology, self-driving uh, delivery robots, last mile delivery drones, IoT devices, and tags, smart parcel lockers. The logistic technology is really coming together, which is going to impact our warehousing and order fulfillment aspect of the last mile delivery. 
Um, so last mile delivery, what is it offers? I'm going to kind of summarize the whole thing very quickly. Seamless supply chain, prevent loss and damage of goods, provides feedback and direction to our drivers, enables real-time visibility, helps and reduce equipment damage, increase efficiency, provides items precision, precise location, provide real-time feedback to our drivers, delivery solution highlights. And more than half, we are already doing that. Vehicle trip management, mobile proof of delivery, vehicle route planning, 24 seven customer support. This is very critical when it comes to emergency situations. Operational area in last mile delivery. So end to end delivery is very critical. We make sure that this is operationally seamless. Safety and security, very critical in last mile delivery. One of my favorite subject. Integration of the last mile delivery between road, rail, port, and drones. We need to have continuous improvement in this space because 78% growth is expected this. How can we do that? With digital insight, we are collecting so much data, we can use that digital insight into actionable uh, steps. Incremental changes, when we are making these changes, be that be autonomous vehicles or whatever it is, we need to make incremental changes, make sure that they are working effectively. Integration, integration cross-functionally in each and every area, be that be logistic fulfillment or delivery. Omni-channel strategy, when it comes to last mile delivery, omni-channel strategy is very critical. Guys, with that, thank you so much for attending and I'm open for questions now.